All right, here we are with our practice sheet. All right, this is a common course sheet. It looks very familiar to the sheets that you'll get for homework, all right? As a matter of fact, I got them from the same area that uh, spot that Mrs. Kunchman gets her, her review sheets from. So this is going to be 12 problems here that we're gonna be expected to do. On the back of this sheet are two word problems here, okay? You can show your work by doing the standard algorithm, by drawing out these things, by doing play stick, place disk values, uh, moving, all of that, all right? So these are two word problems that are very similar to the two word problems that I'm gonna give you tomorrow, okay? So over here on our front sheet, you'll see that we have these multiplication problems just like we did on our I can statement. And the answers are actually up here. So you can check your work to see if you're right. You can find to see if you got your answer up there. And let me show you what it looks like on the first one, okay? First one here says 20, it's 42 times 23. Remember, we start from the bottom up. I'm still trying to get myself into that habit. I'm gonna zoom in here so we can get a little closer. Great. So I start with my ones place down here. Two times three is six. Two times two is four. Okay, that's it. See how I did two times three, two times six, that's what I got. So essentially I did two times 23, and that's 46, and that makes sense. Two threes is six, two twenties is 40, right? Then I move over to my tens place, so I need to put down my zero here to hold the place. I call that guy Bob. Now I can just multiply these the same exact way I multiplied this in the ones place. Four times three is 12, put down the two, carry the one. Four times two is eight, plus one is nine. Ends up just like that. Notice that I'm putting my, my numbers in very neatly, and I'm, I'm writing small not huge, okay? Now I add them up. Six plus zero is six, four plus two is six, plus nine, good. So I got 966. Now I come up here and see if I can find that place value. All right, let me zoom out real quick so we can see that, all right? I look around and I see, oh, there it is right there, 966. Now I'm confident that my answer is correct, okay? And then over here, I write down my, my answer, 966 and I move on to the next one, okay? So I'll do that. 36 times 31, great. We are going to, first of all, zoom in so we can see it better. We start here in the ones place right here, okay? So this six needs to be multiplied by that one and that three. Six times one is six, six times three is 18. Now I put that that whole 18, I don't carry the one because there, there are no hundreds place here. So it's just, that's the end of my problem. Well, for the ones place anyways. Then I move over to my tens place, so I need to put down my zero here to hold the place. Then I have three times one is three, three times three is nine. Great, didn't have to carry it all there, it's nice. Add them up, six plus zero is six, eight plus three is 11, carry the one. 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 1 is 11, so it's 1,016. Let's zoom out and see if we can find that answer up here. 1,116 sticks right out to me. There it is. I'm confident my answer is correct. All right, you've got 10 more of these to do, so um, you're going to get after it. Now, remember, on the back, though, you need to make sure you answer these questions by doing the standard algorithm or whatever method you feel, deem necessary, and answering your question in a complete sentence, okay? This first one here is an area problem, okay? So on the next one has something, my, one of my favorite candies is Swedish Fish, okay? So uh, enjoy your day today. If you have any questions or concerns, ask your teacher. We'll get through it, all right? And we have a quiz tomorrow, all right? All right, kids, have a great day.